All right, uh, let's all go, go over homework 3.1, number nine. All right, so we want to find a critical number of this function. So let's uh, take the derivative. All right, so we take the derivative, so f prime of x is equal to, all right, so you can see that uh, we can use a, a quotient rule, so square the bottom, x plus one squared, and then derivative of the top is one, and the bottom is x plus 1 minus top and the derivative of the bottom is 1 right so in this case you get uh, x minus x x and x cancel out so you get to just 1 over right um, x plus 1 squared Right. All right. So you can see that the, since the numerator is one, so this guy is never zero. So we cannot get a critical number that way. All right. And uh, also, the this derivative is undefined when x equals negative one. But you can see that the next x equals negative one is not in the in the domain of the original function. So they, actually, there is does not exist. There's no critical numbers. All right. Then let's look at the number line. All right. Since uh, it's not defined at z, uh, x equals negative 1, so I have to put that here. All right. Then you can see that uh, here the derivative is actually always positive because you have a positive numerator and a positive denominator. So it's always positive. All right, so which means that uh, it's increasing on interval from negative infinity to one, ne sorry, negative one, and also negative one to positive infinity. All right, but it's never decreasing, so it does not exist. All right, that's it. I hope that, that this was clear.